Nicole the Math Lady, and today we're talking about rectangular area, part two. Well, what does part two mean? Well, if you remember, when we talked about rectangular area earlier, boy, that's a tongue twister, generally the area of a rectangle is its length times its width. But when you start getting these funny examples that look like this, you might have to do a little bit more detective work before we can do length times width and just come up with an easy answer. Let's take a look at what I mean. So here you can see we've got an interesting figure and we're missing some sides. So we're going to have to do a little bit of work to find out what the missing sides are. That's the first thing. The second thing is once we find that out, we're going to need to break this down into a couple of pieces to figure out the area. Let's take a look. Well, the first thing we can do is figure out the missing side. So let's tackle this one here. Well, we know that this full side is 8, which means if this was a full rectangle, this piece would be 5. So I'm going to break this down. Ding, 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 ding. Right? That would be 5 because this is 5. And the whole thing would be 12. Excuse me, 8. And make, which makes this side a 3. Okay? So let's try that one more time. This would be 5 because this is 5. This would be 3 because the whole thing is 8 minus 5 is 3. So we've got this side now. Now we need this side. Well, I'm going to go ahead and draw myself a split this into two actual rectangles. And this entire side is 12, which means this entire side is 12. But we know that this piece is 4 because it's a rectangle. There's 4 on top. 12 minus 4 gives me 8, which makes this side 8. I now have what I need to, break, to do length times width of two separate rectangles. Let me use a different color marker to show you here. I'm going to use blue for my first one. Well, again, we know length times width. So the length of this is 5, and the width is 4. 5 times 4 is 20, and I'm going to give it a label of inches. So we know it's going to be inches squared for the first one. And let's use our little purple marker for the second piece. Okay. We know that our length is 12, and our width is 3. 12 times 3 is 36 inches squared. So I've got them two individually. Now let's just add them together for the total area, which is going to be 56 inches squared. That's really it. Break it down into two separate rectangles and then do your length times width. Let's try another problem. Take a look at this example. So again, you can see we have some missing numbers. We have to figure those out. Then also, let's go ahead and break this down into two rectangles, make our lives a whole lot easier. I think right here is a nice place to break them in two. All right. Now, by the way, does it matter if I break it this way or watch, watch this just so you can see, or if I break it this way? It really doesn't matter. As long as you can find out what the other sides are, you can break it any way you like. I like it the first way, so let's go ahead and do it that way. All right. I made it all nice and messy. So I'm going to go ahead and color them so you can see my two rectangles. And we're going to find out that one of them is actually a square. Let's find those missing sides. So length times width, do we have it for the first one? We do. We have 7 times 7. So we know this is going to be, I'm going to call this centimeters as my label. 7 times 7 is 49 centimeters squared. Now what about this one? We're missing a whole bunch on this it seems. Well, calm down. It's not too bad. We know that this side here is 3. And if the whole thing is 7, it means that this piece right here is a 4. So let's write it in. 4. So now we have a width. We need a length. Well, we know the top of the whole thing is 20. And if this side is 7, that must mean the remainder must be 13. Good job. So 13 is my length times 4, which is my width. And now I can do my length times width for this purple section. Uh, let's see. 4 times 3 is 12. 
and I think that's right. Let me do my quick math. Y'all didn't know I keep a calculator here just to make sure I don't make any mistakes. <laughs> 52 centimeters squared. Now, am I done? Not really. I've got the two individually, but I want to know what the rectangular area is for the whole shape. So I'm going to add the two of them together. Here we go. 9 and 2 is 11. 5 and 5 is 10. 100 centimeters squared. And we can't forget that label of squared. It's super important whenever we're talking about area. That's it. I'm going to have all sorts of funky shapes for you in the practice problems. So hop to that next. I'll see you next time. Bye.